Major Slack Videos. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Videos here. First stop for Express Elden Ring gameplay. All right, I'm back and uh, I just want to show what time we are at. We are currently at 15 hours and 42 minutes into the game. We're about to break into the crumbling firm Azula in 15 hours and 42 minutes. Ow! Yeah, uh, but before we go into the crumbling firm Azula, we got some prep to do. Uh, I got a new loadout I want to put on. Let's get a move on. Enough of the small talk. New loadout is Crimson Hood, Chain Armor, Traveler's Gloves, Chain Leggings, and Gold Scarab. We don't need this anymore. Um, I want to put um, the Ritual Sword. Raises attack power when HP is at a maximum. Yeah, that's going to be very useful. This is going to be the wild card. This one here. And this one will keep the Grave and School Talisman. Everything else is as it should be. That's correct. That's correct. Let's see if we can quick roll. Yes, we can. Very good. Okay. Now, um, I want to get a better shield. I already have a better shield, but I got a lucky drop. This Banished Knight's Shield. Uh, we're going to upgrade this. If you weren't lucky enough to get the Banished Knight Shields, you can farm a Brass Shield at Gatefront. Brass Shield is al almost comparable to the Banished Knight Shield. It weighs one pound more. Um, but it will give you better guard boost once you level it up. Okay, four um, Gobrick Soldiers here at Gatefront carry a Brass Shield. And it's a random drop. This is one. Just do this a couple times, just for demonstrational purposes. That's two. There's a fresh shield right there. <laughs> I got lucky. That's what you're looking for. Okay. That's the second one. The third one is the the guy with the uh, the bugle. Make sure you take him out nice and quiet. And the fourth one is that guy sitting in front of the campfire. Okay? You can see clearly they're carrying a brass shield. Okay? And it's a 2% chance drop. Okay? So if you're following this walkthrough and you want a brass shield, that's how you get one. Kill those four guys repeatedly. And you can do the run fairly quickly if you do it just like exactly the way I'm just going to show you again right now. Just hop on your horse. Quickly run down and kill this guy. Do it ex in this exact order. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Turn around. Get your sneak on. By this time, the patrol is starting back. Get your sneak on. Get behind him and backstab him. And if you're quick enough, you might be able to backstab the guy sitting by the campfire. There you go. That's your brass shield run. Done. Next. Um, but I'm going to upgrade the Banished Knight Shield because this, it weighs a little less, even though it doesn't give us good guard boost. A couple other things I want to change. Um, the spell roll. I want Knight Common in the first one, and I want this one replaced with Scholar Shield. And here I want Knight Comet. And just like that. That's good. Next, I want, um, I don't want to accidentally take my gold pickle file off, so let's put the lantern up there. Don't need this for now, so let's put uh, something we don't mind using by accident, let's say some daggers or something. And put, uh, the wondrous physic there, and let's take this out and put, uh, anything, soft cotton, there we go. Okay. Next, working off the do list here. Spell roll did that, got the brass shield, did that. Next, Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. I'm gonna do a little speed run here to get the Smithing Stone Bell bearing one. Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. We're fairly over leveled for this, so it should be no big deal. This is going to speed run right through it. Only kill stuff that gets in the way or when we want to get stuff that the enemies are guarding. So run right by these guys. 
I know there's smithing stones there, but we don't really need them. We can we can buy them faster. Straight down here. Straight down here to the next elevator. Whoops. I forgot if I wanted to do this. Um, there's the smithing stone, somber smithing stone one here. Yeah, why not? Okay, I'm gonna turn, run, jump, not sprint, jump, run, jump, and then just drop down here and drop down here. And with your meteoric core blade equipped, let's just run straight down here. We're gonna jump into the middle of a bunch of miners and just let fly with the. Actually, not yet. Get across here first. Right here. You see a whole bunch of miners right here. Let fly with the gravitus. And again. And collect all these smithing stones here. Smack that guy. And that's it. Don't bother with anything else. Let's go down and do the boss fight. I forget what's here. Oh. Yep. Grab that. Okay, it's a Crystallion boss. Definitely Rock Sling. And, um, we got enough for Banished Knight Angle, so he goes out first, and then the Meteor Core Blade, or rather, the Meteorite Staff in the left hand. I think this is going to overload me, so I'm going to have to offload. Nope, we're good. Just like that. Rock Sling? Maybe a little Exalted Flesh? No, I don't think it's worth Exalted Flesh. We don't need it. Pop in. Out goes Spanky. Refill FP. Spam Rock Sling. You have to break his like armor. Once you break his armor, you start doing massive damage. There, he broke his armor. And that's it. And was he worth a gold pickle foul foot? Here we get the smithing miner. No, that's not worth a gold pickle's foul foot. We get this is what we're after the smithing stone miner's bell bearing one. Mission accomplished. Alright, that's that. Let's go turn it in. Alright, so now we can buy as many smithing stones 1 and 2 as we like. So we can buy, we can put any weapon up to plus 12. Just like that. Easily. Because we can farm the money to buy the smithing stones and then we can just buy the smithing stones. Take like 2 minutes to bring any weapon, any standard weapon, up to plus 12. Um, let's go go smithing stone, miner's bell bearing 3, which will allow us to buy as many 5s and 6s as we like. And that is at... Zamor Ruins, right here, in Mountaintops of the Giants. We blew right by it earlier. Populated by these extremely dangerous... I think they're officially known as Zamor Knights. I call them Freezing Knights, because that's what they do. They just they freeze your ass off and they do a hell of a lot of damage. But they're worth a lot of money. This was my old um, rune farm 
before I discover the bird. With our build though, with Knight Kama, we can easily do these guys in. Charge shot, follow up by three regular shots right after. It's just lock on, charge, night shot, and immediately follow up with three. There you go. And as you can see, 6,000 runes. And if you want to take a gold pickle foul foot, you can make some more money. How many do I have left? Yeah, that's where the gold pickle file fit. And like every second night you kill, you get a enemy group refill. Oh, we can spawn Spanky too. Interesting. Uh oh, watch it now. How'd you go, Spanky? Yeah, you're my backup. You gotta love Spanky. That's just the freezy stuff. See that shit there? Pardon my French. That is deadly. Really deadly. That's why I call them the freezy knights. Oh, still alive. Okay, it's good. It's time to control. How you doing there, Spanky? As you can see, total cakewalk for a well-developed sorcerer with Knight Comet. Which is why it was my old, um, my old ATM. You can make a lot of money doing this. As you can see. And what we're after is down in the cellar. There you go, smithing stones. Smithing stone miners, bell bearing three. Now we can buy as many fives and sixes as we like. Let's go turn that in. First of all, do I have any... No, I do not. Alright, so we want to fully upgrade our new shield. Be it the Banished Knight Shield, if you're lucky to get one, or a Brass Shield. I've tested this, the strategy to the end of the game with this walkthrough with the Brass Shield as well, which is just fine. Um, let's do an inventory. I have three ones, five twos. four threes, so that means I need eight threes. I'm just taking the notes here because my notes are a little different. Eight threes, six fours, seven fives, and 
and nine sixes. Okay, so that's what I need to buy to upgrade my Banished Knight Shield to plus 18. But I'm going to take it a little further. Okay, so nine ones. Seven twos. Eight threes. Six fours. Seven fives. And nine sixes. Okay, now the main reason we're upgrading this shield is to improve the guard boost this here. This starts out pretty hard, pretty high guard boost for a medium shield 55. Guard boost determines how much stamina is lost when you're guarding with your shield, which is important. Because once all your stamina is blown away, your shield goes flying off to the side and you're just basically left there with your dick hanging in the breeze with no shield, as many of you well, um, know from experience. <laughs> okay, so Banished Knight's shield is high as she'll go. That's 18. We can take it up to 20, as I suspected. There we go. So now we need five more Smithing Stone 7 to bring it up to 21. Um, and as you can see, we've improved our guard boost from 55 to 66. That's significant once we get to um, Crumbling Karamazula. That's going to make it a lot easier to handle the Beastmen. Next, um, St. Trina's Sword. I've been working on these strategies for a couple days now. That's, that's why my absence. I discovered that St. Trina's Sword totally kicks ass. And it's worth upgrading. That's basically the sleep sword. This baby right here. I currently have it at plus five. Let's put it at plus six. Yep. Plus seven. Can we take it up to plus eight? Yep. Plus eight. So we need a smithing stone nine to bring it up to plus nine, but plus eight is gonna do just fine for our purposes. Next on the list, um deathbed dress. Yeah, we need some death blight protection. Death bed dress could be found in Landell. Landell starting at my notes say the West Capitol Rampart but that's wrong. It should be uh no it should be Avenue Balcony. Why are you lying to me, laptop? Let me just change that. Avenue Balcony. Done. Okay. I only have to take out one enemy, and that's this guard here so let's go down this way that guy right there let's just backdoor him charge knight comet shot should easily do him in there you go okay once he's down we can sneak in here that guy there that banished knight with a great bow. We could just sneak right by him. And there's another guy here too. Just jump over here like this. Down the ladder we go. And kick this ladder down. Charge Knight Comet should do this guy in. Well, no, not quite. Oh boy. Bad. Oh, you're still alive. What the fuck? 
At any rate, you're up here. He can't touch you. Gives up the Omens Kirk Omens Smirk mask every time. The first time. And the Smithing Stone 6. And inside here is the complete Lion's Helm gear. Which we won't be using. But more importantly, the Deathbed Dress, which gives you the best death blight protection um, in chest armor in the game. There's only one problem. Um, there's no male version. So if you're playing as a male character, uh, you're going to look pretty fucking ridiculous. Part of my French. Fortunately, I'm playing as a female character, but uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're playing as a male character, all, all, all I can say in my best Nelson months, All right, uh, we don't need that on right now. It will pro pro provide you with good protection, though. Next, uh, the Prince of Death Pustule, which is another thing that will give us good death blade protection. Back to Stormvale Castle. Nope, right here, the secluded cell in Stormvale Castle. Straight to the southwest. Okay, we already got the crack pods, so we're gonna double back here. Jump up here. Whoop. Around the corner. And jump here. Um I think there's something down there that we need. These guys can be easily taken out with uh Rock sling. That's offhand the meteorite staff. Whoops, uh oh. Don't want to do that. Here. Perfect. That's good. Talisman. I was reaching in this. There we go. Pretty sure this is lump of flesh. Oh, there you go. Another banished knight. Banished knight shield, and that lump of flesh. That's good for exalted flesh, which we make all the time. Okay, back to the sword and the shield. And lights on. What's it now? Oh yeah, right. Get a Trina's Lily here. Golden room here. Sniffing stone. Little grab tits for you. Little whack a mole for you. And you usually like to just jump right down to the midst of these guys. Little grab tits. Same thing with these guys. Guaranteed pick up the manor tower shield. This guy up here, you don't need. Oh, he's already dead. Okay. Manor Tower Shield, that's another great shield with good guard boost, but it requires a lot more strength. It requires 30 strength. This starts out at 67, whopping 67 guard boost. So that's not, a, not really useful to us. Okay, carefully drop down here. And this golden rune, you have to jump up on the ledge to get it. I always shit my pants trying to get this because it's like so finicky. And if you miss, well, you know, you see what happens. <laughs> and 
this is where we want to be. Basically what we're doing is we're opening the back door to this side of Grace right here. The list side chamber. Previously, if you go to the list side chamber, this door is locked. Now we got it open. Now we're going to work our way down to the ulcerated tree spirit fight. A couple of bats to take care of. What? What's enough? What? What? There's one right here. And there's one right here hiding. Okay, a little bit of a gap to jump. Easy. Arterial leaf, yes, we can use that. Should be one more bat here. There he is. Whoops. Well, whatever. <laughs> And we're good. Okay, a little bit of platforming to do. Well, what now? Huh? What's this? Oh, it's just a golden ring too. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Four rats to take care of down here. Three little ones and a big one. And the big one is right there. Teardrop Scarab here. You want to sneak up on his arse on this side. Strong attack. And to get Ranker Call, which is actually a sorcery. Okay, now for the absolutely hellacious Ulcerated Tree Spirit fight. Um, we're going to do this with. Um, Common Azure. Hopefully you haven't changed the Flask of Wonders Physic, Cerulean Hidden Tear, Magic Shroud, and Cracked Tear. And I would recommend um, offhanding the Azure's Glintstone Staff to make your spells cast faster. And I would put Radagon's Icon here. And we're not going to set up a Terra Magica because um, there's no time. The strategy here is as soon as you drop down, he's going to appear. Take him a, a second or two to appear. Uh, we're going to rush into this corner, take the flask of Wonders Physic, lock on, and just blast him. You may get whacked a little bit, but just keep at it. And don't bother setting up a Terra Magical, like I said. Go into the corner. Oops. Shit. There we go. <laughs> One little mistake. I thought I had um, my Flask of Wondrous Physic here, and I ended up throwing a dart. That's all it took. A one second mistake, and it threw off my entire strategy. But um, if you have your Flask of Wondrous Physic ready to go in the right spot, and you go in this corner, take your Flask of Wondrous Physic, lock on, and zap him with Comet Azure, you should be able to finish off. Finish him off, no problem. Okay, so Stone Sword Key. Throwing daggers, but most importantly, way down here.
the Prince of Death's Pustule, which also gives you uh, a vitality boost. So now to deal with those death blights, we can use this Prince of Death's Prince of Death's Pustule. So as you can see, it raises your vitality by a whopping 90 points. That's going to be very useful. Hey, okay, almost a textbook run. A little bit of a hiccup here, but uh, it's no big deal. I knew it's going to survive. Because we are kicking ass. What else is on the list? That's it. We're ready to rock and roll. Ready to rock and or roll. Let's go back to the mountaintops of the giants. Where were we at? The fire giant. Side of grace. Okay, let me just get ready for the next... This would be... Um, Staff of Laws, that's right. That. That's good. That's good. Roll, roll's good, All right. Okay, I'm going to get off my horse at the top because I always end up fumble fingering this, like, big time. This makes me really nervous. Watch it now. Okay, and there's some butterflies down there. I'm just going to ignore them. And ride around the forge of the giants. Oh, there's some more butterflies here. Is this... This is dumb. I don't need butterflies that badly. <laughs> you can get them, but, you know... Let's face it. Why risk? Put Mr. Fumble Fingers in charge. So at this point, when you reach the Forge of the Giants this side of grace you have to talk to Milena. I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? And the answer is I'm ready. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. shall burn. Burn for the sake of the new Lord.
thank you for guiding me here. The one who walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. Goodbye. Yeah, I know. Elden Ring Express, what the hell am I doing playing the cutscenes? Uh, I don't know, I just really like that one. <laughs> All right, that's enough cutscene, Sabrina. Into the crumbling fair in Missoula we go. Make sure you pick up the smithing stone eight here. Carefully drop down here and down here. And there are five beastmen to take care of up ahead. They are forced to be reckoned with if you don't handle them. Treat them with kid gloves. Okay, we're going to use Terra Magica and a Charged Knight Comet. That should do them in no problem. Terra Magica. Charged Knight Comet. The guy patrolling is your priority. You should one-shot them. Usually have enough to do four, and then recharge Terra Magica. There we go. One shot them. Who loves you? Slack loves us. That's right. Don't you forget. That's the way to take care of those guys. Otherwise, they can turn into a real, real hellaciousness. Okay, it's two more to take care of in here. Make sure you stick to the right side here. Tuck yourself in this corner. Pop out another Terra Magica. Uh oh. Okay, I didn't expect that guy to move, but apparently he didn't notice me. Okay, take care of these two guys here. And that's it. And I believe there's one more. So now we're working on collecting smithing stones 8 to upgrade our um, hornbow. Now we need one more. And here's the first set of grace. And I said we have arrived in crumbling fair in Missoula. We're in the end game. 16 hours and 20 minutes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Major Slack, and I approve this video. If you do too, please give the old Slacks your big old thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to help support the channel and to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next time when we take on the crumbling firm Azula. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.